what can writers learn in terms of having a more prolific and productive output from artists? I think a lot of artists work only occasionally and in bursts. That's not how I write. Some writers work that way. It seems more common amongst us, uh, say, painters at least. Uh, and I don't know why the difference is. It's one thing I've always wanted to understand better. But the nature of inspiration, it seems to be lumpier, more convex somehow. So the artist is kind of waiting and then explodes. And again, some writers are like that, right? Uh, Proust, at one point, he just wrote Remembrance of Things Past, didn't do that much before then, obviously was dying, didn't do anything significant afterwards. Uh, Thomas Mann, it seems, exploded periodically with masterworks, but was not a journalist writing every day. Uh, it could be, you know, the very greatest talents explode. Cervantes would be another example. Was in prison. He wrote Don Quixote. His other works, I mean, they're interesting. I, w I wouldn't say they're not good, but they're not really close to Don Quixote. So it could be the, the convexification of the highest forms of creativity uh, is something we should learn more from. But I'm pretty sure I'm not the person who will figure that out. I'm too non-convex. Write every day. Write a small amount if needed. Just keep on going. Music composition is an interesting area. If you look at Johann Sebastian Bach, I mean, one of the greatest geniuses, it's pretty clear he was always composing. He was like a lot of these writers. Shakespeare seems pretty actively to have been writing also. And he and Bach may be the two greatest geniuses in Western uh, cultural history. For they were actually not very lumpy. Picasso also wasn't lumpy. Do you worry that... Do you think about legacy? No. When I'm dead, I'm dead. Uh, you know, it's nice if somehow it's helped the people I've known had better lives, but I'm not at all like, oh, will people still read me? First, I'm pretty sure they won't. Uh, second, I'm not sure I would care that much if they did. I do care that they read me now, though. I'm not saying it doesn't matter. Uh, but I've spent a lot of time actually studying the half-lives of ideas. And hardly anything happening now will still be read in 20 years' time. Really close to nothing. But if I've had influence or produced benefits now, that's enough for me. But it really doesn't matter if the percentage of things that you've written that have influenced, like you were just talking about Don Quixote, that was the one book that stood out. It Doesn't it matter? It's much more of a tail distribution. Well, but it's become a tail distribution where hardly anything in nonfiction still gets read. So you take someone like Gary Becker. In his lifetime, I think he was the most cited economist for many years. He could have won five or six Nobel Prizes, helped build a an enduring program at University of Chicago, one of the top half dozen Nobel laureates, in my opinion, of what is now a pretty large group. He's not read anymore. So like Milton Friedman is barely still read. Like, what is it I should hope for? I think it's, I have this debate with Robin Hanson. So Robin really wants people or maybe M's, you know, to read him after he's gone. The M's will read him, I'm, I'm sure, if that's what it comes to. But I don't think the people will. So I say uh, maximize impact now, but most of all, maximize your own learning. Like, be pretty selfish in that regard, at least. Henry George was like that too, right? Yes, he's had an amazing impact up to the current day, but he's not that much read. And his impact probably does not come from him still being read, because he is read very rarely. I actually put on a whole two-day seminar to read through Progress and Poverty. Uh, with a number of people, including Peter Thiel. This was just a phenomenal event. We had a small group. Everyone was totally dedicated to the book, just like sessions all day long. We had some Georgist specialists there, some historians. Uh, I had a blast. That was great. But it, again, one thing I learned is how few people are reading that book.